Hey everyone, I'm in my backyard this morning and it is very chilly out today and Coco thinks she wants to find some squirrels. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm looking around for some textures out here and um, I brought some paper with me and I have um, some crayons, okay? So I'm gonna look around and see if I can find some really cool, interesting textures. This is gonna be your assignment today and I'll give you time even during class. We'll kind of sign off a little bit early so you can start on your project. I'm gonna want you to go out and find some textures in your backyard or around your house and um, just kind of look and see what you think you might be able to get a good rubbing of, right? I see some things here. I see this really cool tree that I might try. It's been, it's kind of, um, what's the word, damp still. So I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to do everything but let me just see here we'll put one piece of paper down I'm gonna show you let's see if I can do this let's see prop this up here there we go there you can see my big old satellite dish right there now I'm gonna hold my paper steady I really like this wood this wood grain so I'm gonna try this out and see what kind of design I can get here oh I like the lines now the key is to make sure that you are overlapping. Don't like, don't let your textures float with white space in between. It's important to get them over to overlap. So there's one. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe, maybe not. I'll show it to you in class in a minute. And let me see, I'm gonna look for another one. Oh, I have this really cool siding on my house. So I'm gonna set the phone up over here. And yes, yellow is my favorite color if you haven't noticed that yet. So I'm gonna just cut over here and put my paper, I think I'm gonna turn it 90 degrees and get a different color if I'm using crayons. Now if you're not using crayons, you don't have to use a different color. You can just use your pencil, that's totally fine. But change up the direction and make sure you're overlapping. I really like the way this line indicates like a little bit of movement too. So I'm gonna put that line in there. I like it a lot, so I'm going to use it in several ways. Okay, so here is that. Now, something else I just noticed. This is my. I need a. I need a selfie stick. I think. I like the. I like these. I'll show you. I like these knots in the wood. Can you see those knots in the wood? I'm going to try to get one of those. See if I can get one. Hey y'all, it's cold out here. It's cold in the shade. Yes, this knot in the wood looks really good. I can see that perfectly. So I'm going to try to overlap these different colors and maybe do more than one knot in the wood. Because why not? Ha ha ha. <laughs> no pun intended for this Monday. I hope you guys are doing good today. All right, so that looked real good. Like, I love that one. This is cool. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm gonna try to find one more and make sure my dog didn't run away. Let me see. I have, ooh, I have a really cool chair. It's got a great basket weave design on it. So I'm gonna set up the camera and show you. This is a persimmon. I don't really need that right now. I have these really cool fruit trees in my backyard. This is fun. It's got a nice basket weave design. I really like this, you guys. If I had black with me, oh my goodness. I'm going to show you the texture. It's really, really cool. You guys, there's so many options out here. If you just kind of look around, I mean, anywhere you are, it doesn't matter. You can find like really cool textures on brick, okay? Brick and wood. And um, I'm looking right here. I had, this is my raccoon hill. You know, see there's really cool stuff right there. That's a, um, a fire starter I use. And I, I could get a really cool design off of this rubbing of this trash can too. I think actually I'll do that. I'll set the camera up and I'll get it rubbing on the little trash can right here. I like that a 
lot. I could probably get some a good rubbing here as well. Eh, maybe not. Maybe not as good. Okay, that's good. I've got about six or seven. I'm going to ask you to do about six or seven too. Hopefully more. And um, that's what I came up with so far. I really like that. It's a nice composition. Notice how I used the whole page. And notice also how it took me less than six minutes to do this. It won't take you very long. Um, if you have your pencil, make sure you have a duller edge. Make sure it's not too sharp. I'm going to try this bark out just to see. I don't know. It probably won't work, but we'll just see. It definitely got below 32 degrees last night, you guys. It's chilly out here today. It's really cold out here. Okay. Yeah, the, the bark works. There it is right there. Okay, so out of the house texture rubbings. On Friday, we did around the house texture rubbings, like inside the house. So if you didn't show me your work on Friday, you're going to need to do that today for reduced credit because that's an in-class assignment, all right? You could have done that very easily while we were sitting there talking. I think I probably heard from maybe five or six of you. So anyway, hey, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Ciao.